this is Bob from Hobby Concepts. Well, one of the first videos I ever did was unboxing this HG Models Hemet. And I love this truck. At the time, I said I wanted to build a trailer for it. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. It's been a long time. I've been kind of collecting bits and pieces. I bought this plastic model that I reviewed that has the trailer in it so I could get details for it. Uh, today, I'm finally going to start. This will be a little different than some of my other videos. It'll probably be shorter segments. There'll probably be more of them. And I'll probably go all through the winter because I've got two other projects I'm going to be doing at the same time. One is Tamiya's RC Abrams tank. And the other one is a, uh, a five-axle Tamiya semi-truck that'll have three drive axles and two steering axles um, that'll be a, really a custom build. So. I'll be doing those along with this trailer. But anyway, today it's all about the trailer, so let's get started. Step one is first off trying to figure out how big I need to make my trailer. Um, the way I'm going to do that is uh, some simple, good old fashioned math. So, what I've done is I've actually measured how long this HD, HG hem it is, it's 29 inches long. Okay, so on the drawing, the truck is six inches long. Now, the trailer on the drawing is eight and three quarters, 8.75. So, remembering good old high school math, we take 29 times 8.75. And then we divide it by 6, and that means our trailer is going to be 42.29 inches long. Uh, that means I need to enlarge this drawing so I have a full-size drawing, or at least that's what I want to do. So I'll take the 42.29 divided by 8.75, and I have to enlarge the drawing 4.83 times. I'm going to run down to the uh, office supply store and have them make an enlargement of this. I'm going to enlarge it. I'll probably enlarge it five times just to make it simple on them. So I'll get an enlargement of this drawing and we'll see what we have. Back from the office supply store, you can see this, this huge set of drawings. They had to do it in, uh, in three pieces. To, uh, to make it fit on the paper. You see my original drawing which came from that plastic model kit and then the, uh, the enlarged version. So I'm going to have to cut this out and tape these pieces together. Before I do that, I want to see how these scale with my HG Hemet. Well, that looks pretty darn good. The wheelbase came out exactly right. I flip this up on the side. The tires match perfect. Yeah, everything matches. Wow, the cab, everything matches great. So, my drawings are the right size. Um, I'm, and that's the trailer I've got to build. Wow, that thing is huge. Okay, I'm going to cut these apart, cut these and tape them together, and uh, see what I come up with. I've got my drawing taped together. It is huge. It measures over 4 by 6, and I just can't uh, deal with that kind of size. So I'm going to cut out the trailer, the rear view, and the top trailer deck drawings. I'll leave the other side view intact and that way I'll have drawings that I can work from and, and kind of uh, scale off of. Well, I got my, my drawings cut down to manageable sizes. There's a side view, there's the aft view so I can get the widths, and there's the top view so I can get the deck. 
So now I have to get started on building the thing. Remember I, I built this scale model um, uh, a while back and the videos on my channel so you can see that. So I've got a great reference but uh, trying to decide what to what to do for building. I got a couple of these Tamiya flatbed semi-trailer kits. I actually have two of them because I'm going to need three rear axles. And let's see what we've got in here. These are great um, because I'll get all the parts and pieces I need. First thing is a tire. So I'm going to lay that on my drawing. And it's just a hair big, but will work fine. And the, uh, the wheels are pretty much the right exact size. So that's going to give me my wheels and axles. Now I know the axles aren't wide enough, but I'll, I'll be able to widen those. So along in here I've got, you know, all kinds of metal brackets and bits. But the main things I have from the trailer will be the tires, axles, and suspension. The other thing nice about these flatbed trailer kits, see, this is this one is. Oh yeah, plastic pieces and the wheels. So that's good. I'll have the coupler, I'll have things like the lights. The other thing nice are these wonderful aluminum pieces, um, which I can use to make the trailer. I've got the, the the frame rails. Now I'll probably make my own frame rails because I want to have the wheels closer to the deck. But these aluminum angles are beautiful for that. Um, and wood decking. Lots of wood decking pieces. Remember, this trailer has wood decking. It also has uh, some diamond plate. But lots of wood decking, lots of metal, so I can use the, the metal sheets, some of the metal angles, tires, wheels, axles, and suspension uh, for building my, my Hemet trailer. Since I decided that uh, I'm going to do the suspension first, I want to get these wheels, and you can see I've got seven of them, the six wheels and a spare. These are the outside. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to soak them in super clean. And uh, this super clean I get it at Walmart. And what it does is it will remove the chrome completely from these wheels. Because um, I'm going to paint them army colors. And paint doesn't stick well to chrome. So I'll put them in here and I'll let them sit overnight. And that will eat all the chrome off them. The back side, uh, you'll never be able to see, so I don't care. So I'm going to leave those alone. And uh, these can soak while I put the axles together. So I'm going to build these to me axles pretty much stock. You can see I've already put the snap ring on here. I, as always, use ball bearings instead of the bronze bushings they provide. So we'll just snap this on. bearings apart and this just lays in the axle housing like that and there's two different halves one of them has a little shoulder right here and that should just snap over that and then we're looking good now problem the axle is not near wide enough I'm going to I'm going to get a couple of uh, wheels and tires and we'll mount these on here and just see how far I have to extend this. I'm going to cut it in half in the middle, pull it apart. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but I want to get the track the same as the uh, Hemet trailer. So I've got three axles put together. I put a bolt through here temporarily just to, to hold them in place. And what I'm looking for here is to see if the Tamiya springs give me approximately the right axle spacing. 
and by gosh they are perfect. So I will use the Tamiya Springs like that and the spring shackles. I'll probably have to make a special shackle for the center that will hold both springs. And uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm getting uh, some thoughts about suspension here. Like I, I said in the beginning, this is going to be a different video than my other videos because I'm going to be doing a lot of figuring as I go and scratch building. So onward we go. I've taken one of the axles and mounted tires on it. So now I can take my rear view and I can lay this on here. And yes, it is way too narrow. Let's just see. Two and a quarter inches. So I've got to widen this two and a quarter inches. And I need to do that before I can lay out suspension because the suspension rails are also going to have to be further apart than normal Tamiya suspension rails. So I will cut one of these in half. Okay, not rocket science here. We're just going to take the old bandsaw. Okay, now I can make it wider. So here's my two halves. I took an X-Acto knife and, and cut down this bump so I had a smooth surface here. Dug in my scrap drawer and found a piece of brass tubing that's a perfect fit. There's a shoulder here. So I will measure the correct length. Probably drill a hole through here and a hole through the tubing and bolt this on and give myself a lengthened axle. I've got one of my brass axle extensions cut. Lay my drawing down here and just make sure that we're about right. And that is perfect. So I'm going to cut three of those, then I'll drill holes and bolt those together. And that'll give me three extended axles. Got uh, three axles finished now. They're all the correct length. Bolting that piece in there worked out good. They're solid. and I took the bolts out of here because now there's bolts here sandwiching the halves together so they won't fall apart. Uh, next project is to get those wheels painted and uh, start laying out the suspension. I'm actually going to end this video here, part one. Um, this Building this trailer is going to take a while. It'll probably take most of the winter. So I'll probably do it in more parts that'll, that are shorter than my typical videos. But I just wanted to show everybody and all my uh, fans. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to build this trailer that I actually am going to do it. And I've got a couple other projects I'm going to be doing at the same time. I've got a Tamiya Abrams tank, a RC tank I'm going to build. And I've got a Tamiya semi-truck with three rear axles and two front axles uh, that I'm going to do. So uh, those will be going along with this trailer and uh, just keep an eye out for those. So uh, please subscribe if you want to see me finish this trailer. And uh, thanks again for watching.